Hey everyone, it is Bring Back My Bar Time, and these bars are going to be back for the entire month of June. Once July gets here, they're no longer available. So what I wanted to do for you was kind of do a little smell-o-vision, smell the scents, describe them to you, so then you guys can decide what are the best scents for you and your home that might work great. Um, so I'm going to kind of read the descriptions off of them, and then kind of give you guys some... Um, ideas on what you can do with them and the best ways to purchase them for you to have them in your house. This is actually also the best bring back my bar list I have ever seen. And I've been a consultant for a very, very long time. And so there are some amazing favorites that go back from when I first became a consultant. So that's why I'm loving these, this year's um, list. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the beginning for you. It's kind of an alphabetical order and that will go from there. So the first one is Blue Hyacinth. And the description on this is florals from heaven. Pure blue hyacinth is all about the flower power. It's a nice, beautiful, soft floral scent for you. Really, really nice. Um, it, it would be, I, you could see this scent almost anywhere. It, it really is a really nice floral scent. Um, I think that's why I kind of like that scent. It um, would be great in a bathroom for sure or an entryway. Um, kind of that kind of area for that type of scent. Coffee treat is our next one. Bold and sophisticated, wake up to the rich aroma of freshly roasted coffee beans. This was the first coffee scent when I became a consultant that was available. So it's kind of reminiscent for me um, going back to my early years of being a consultant. So let me smell it for you. Yeah, it is like black coffee scent. The best way I can describe it is when I walk into like a coffee shop or like, you know, like Starbucks or something like that. The way that those coffee shops, cafes smell is exactly what this coffee tree smells like. So if you like the way that um, cafes and coffee shops and stuff like that smell, you're gonna love the coffee tree. It's also, coffee tree is really a good one to kind of clear up if you've been cooking a lot, to kind of clear up some of the sm different smells that you have in your kitchen, especially if you've been doing like ish and things and garlics and stuff that coffee will really get that all cleaned out for you uh french kiss is the next one this is a classic as well this was in the very first catalog when i became a consultant so all the way back in 2007 and it's been customer favorites for years now so it is called it's french kiss and it's sweet fig tenderly caressed by coconut pulp exotic cedar and caramel oh, yeah it's just a nice woodsy perfumey soft scent it's very very romantic um but it's not like in your face perfume it's just a nice soft perfumey scent that's why this one's great i know a lot of people like to have this one going in their bedrooms um very romantic for sure french kiss the next one is fresh cut daisies and it's a meadow awash in summer blooms freshly cut grass and clover with daisies, buttercups, and ivy. Yeah, this one, I don't really get a lot of that grass scent, but I get more of the um, buttercups and daisies probably. Um, for me, it kind of reminds me of like um, a soap kind of smell. It's a nice floral, fresh scent. Um, so if you like florals again, that are kind of, it's kind of lighter. Um, to me, it's, Smell maybe it's like some lemongrass are in there a little bit too. Not a whole lot. It's very very faint. Um, but the fresh cut daisies, great floral scent. Really get you in that spring mood and kind of get you on in in the mood to clean things and organize things and stuff like that. The next one is called Honeymoon Hideaway. Escape to a secluded retreat of dew kissed lily, tart sweet kiwi, shaded by lush coconut palm. Yeah, this one's really good. I can smell the kiwi in there, hints of the coconut. Um, there's other things in there that I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's such a refreshing tropical kind of scent for you. Um, the florals and everything just kind of take you, like you feel like you're going to be at the beach or something. So honeymoon hideaway. The 
Jet Set Go is the next one. This one was uh, really good while it was out, and um, so I'm really glad that it's back. Jet off to a balmy tropical paradise of Brazilian orange, jungle papaya, and island vanilla. Oh, yeah, it's so good. I can smell the papaya and the orange. Hints of that sweet vanilla coming through. Just kind of softens that orange scent and everything. Such a great scent. If you love fruity scents and you want to twist on um, an orange, you're going to love the Jet Set Go. Tahika uh, Hula. I have a lot of friends. It's fun to, that like the scent. Uh, it's fun to say. So Kahika Hula. Say aloha with exotic passion fruit, mango, and papaya. And yeah, you do. You get that. Um, all of those blended together. I smell more of the passion fruit probably versus the mango. Um, and then there's that papaya coming in there. But a beautiful, nice, tropically scent. Uh, I don't even know if that's a real word, tropically, but I'm making it one. Um, if you love exotic fruit scents, you're going to love the, the hikahula. The next one's one of my favorites, and I'm super excited that it came back. A lemon Time Berry. I'll be stocking up on this bad boy for sure. The sparkling lemonade and strawberry sprinkled with crushed thyme. It's just so good. The strawberry and the lemonade, mm, so fresh and light. And then that thyme just kind of brightens it up just a little bit more. Um, it, it To me, it literally smells like a strawberry lemonade. And it's so good. With maybe a mixes of like a raspberry in there too or something. Really, really good. Um, if you love berries and lemon scents, this is definitely one you need to have in your stockpile. Love Story is the next one. That one. Go Love Story. Innocent pink jasmine and sensual amber embraced by luscious dark chocolate. Oh yeah, the amber really comes through in this one. Um, the jasmine's kind of an undertone, especially the chocolate part is not very chocolatey at all. Um, in fact, I, I'm a chocolate lover and I don't smell much of the chocolate. What I personally smell is that jasmine and the amber. And it's a nice, once again, another soft floral kind of scent coming through. Great in um, a bedroom or an entryway even. Kind of you, you invite people to come in and it's just a welcome, warm, welcoming scent with um, freshness behind it. So love story. All of these scents are available, like I said, through the end of June. Um, so we only have about nine days left and um, they're $6 each or you could do a three pack for $17 or six bars for $30 and you can mix and match your scents however you want there. Um, so the next one is Lucky in Love, Sweet Bouquet of Mandarin, Bergamot and Orange with hints of peach and berries. This is one of my favorite scents for sure for when it's like romantic scents. Um, probably because this is the one that we've had going in my bedroom. And the whole reason was I, when I first became a consultant, my husband's like, we need something in our bedroom. I was like, okay. So I let him pick it and he solely picked it just off of the name Lucky and Love. So, um, you know, men are kind of crazy like that and fun, silly, but um, that's why we have Lucky and Love. And um, it reminds me of me and my husband. So there you go. Mulberry Bush is the next one. Sweet mulberry accented with bittersweet orange peels. This one, um, I usually see people buying it more during the holiday season. So if you're kind of in the mood for some of those holiday deep berry scents, you're definitely going to like this one. Oh, yeah. The orange is, is in the background. Just get that mulberry deep berry scent. Really dark. And it's just amazing. It's a really good fun scent. This one might also be good to mix in with maybe like squeeze the day, which is a lemon scent. And then you can have a, a mold, mold, mulberry lemonade kind of scent going through. It, it would be a fun one to mix with different scents. So, like I said, that one's a, a, a stronger, deeper berry scent versus some of the more traditional berry scents where they're kind of bright and vibrant and stuff like that. So my wish is the next one. 
confection of earthy fig, sweet violet, and playful marshmallow will have you wishing for more. My wish. Yeah, this one, I smell the marshmallows in it. Um, I'm not, my nose is not normally a big violet fan, but what I think is coming through is that, that fig and everything. And it's just a nice, sweet, earthy scent. Um, really, really nice. Uh, I really enjoy this one for sure too, my wish. And it's more on the, like, like I said, the sweet side versus the floral. So it's a sweet florally kind of scent with more emphasis, emphasis on the sweet side. Next one is ocean. Cool and refreshing aquatic notes deepened with water lilies and ocean breezes. Oh, this one it smells like soap for sure to me. It's just like you're in the shower um, with a nice fresh bar of soap and it just smells nice and clean. So if you're looking for uh, a really good clean scent, this one's a great one to have going ocean. Palo Santo is the next one. And it, pa Palo Santo wood, charred cedar bark and antique are the ultimate dream boat blend. Um, Remember the first time I smelled this, we were at a reunion and I did not care for it, but I'm gonna smell it for you guys to let you know what I smell. Um, I do know it's a very earthy kind of scent and it's just not for me, but I do smell the charred cedar bark for you in there. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's a, it definitely has like, like your, Best way to describe it, I smell the cedar, it's really, really strong, which I like that part, but then the 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 wood and the kind of smoky part is, I think, is what's getting to my nose. Um, so if you like, like, sitting around a campfire where you're burning cedar and stuff like that, you'll definitely love the Palo Santo kind of woods. It's a very woodsy kind of scent. Very strong on the cedar part. My sniffer does not like that, but that is my sniffer. Your sniffer might like that. Um, okay, Rock and Ruby Raz, a fruity blend of juicy orange, fresh strawberry, and sweet candy glaze, all wrapped up in one perfect fragrance. Mm, see, this is my more more of my sniffer. I love fruity scents. So this one, it's a nice strong strawberry, nice strong orange, hint of sugar glaze kind of going in there. Uh, definitely loving that one. Rock and Ruby Raz. Spring Forward is the next scent. And it, if Sunshine had a scent, it would be this burst of Italian bergamot, raspberry jam, and cedarwood. Oh, it's an interesting one. I do remember this when it came out. I believe it was a scent of the month years ago. Um, that bergamot is right in there with the cedar wood. So it's a woodsy, earthy kind of thing with a hint of um, lighter. I don't smell a lot of the raspberry jam. Um, so that raspberry kind of makes it not so woodsy and it kind of brightens it up and lightens it up. So that would be spring forward. If, you want, if you're looking for a softer woodsy scent, go with this one versus the Paleo Santo. If you want a strong woodsy scent, you're going to like that Paleo Santo. Or Palo Santo. I might be pronouncing that wrong. That's okay. Strawberry Swirl is our next one. Frozen strawberry swirl whipped with frothy milk and vanilla. Oh yeah, this, this one smells really good. It, um, Strawberry ice cream is what comes to mind for me. Like when you open up a container of strawberry ice cream, you get that whiff of strawberries and then you eat the strawberry ice cream. So you're getting that vanilla -y kind of milky part. That's what this smells like. So the way that strawberry ice cream smells and tastes is what this smells like combined together. Strawberry swirl. Couple more, Summer Soleil is our next one. Pineapple and coconut milk top fluffy vanilla marshmallow. 
Oh yeah, that one's good. Um, I smell the coconut there for sure. The pineapple is very light, not a whole lot. I smell more of the coconut and the vanilla kind of going in there, but it's a nice, sweet, um, tropical scent for you. It, really, really nice. And that one would be good in any room because you got the vanilla and the coconut kind of mixing in together. So that's why that one would be a great anywhere that you want to put it. Sweet pea and vanilla is next. And this is an all time favorite. I was shocked when they had it discontinued, but I'm so glad it's back for this month so people can stock up on it. It's ambiance of raspberries and sweet pea petals with vanilla. And really you can't go wrong with it. It's just so nice. The sweet pea is what comes out first and then the hints of the raspberry and the vanilla. Um, it's just a really, 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 if you're going for a floral scent, this is always my recommendation. Go with sweet pea and vanilla. It, everybody it seems to enjoy it. Um, watermelon mint is the next one. I love watermelon scents, so I, I'm excited for this one, but especially for the next one that's that came out. A chilled slice of sweet watermelon sprinkled with bracing fresh mint makes a refreshing summer treat. So yes, yeah, so um, if you the best way to think of this one for the way that it smells is take watermelon bubblegum, right? And then throw in some mint in it. And that's what you have. I mean, nice fresh watermelon scent going on there for you. Versus the next one, which is called watermelon patch. And this one is sweet vine ripened watermelon. That's the description. And this one smells like watermelon. It is so good. It smells like like a uh, watermelon hubba bubba bubblegum. Um, if any of you remember chewing that when you were younger, that's what this one is. So it's a su super sweet watermelon scent. Whereas watermelon mint is more of a refreshing watermelon scent. So because you got the mint part in there. So if you're looking for any of those, that's what it would be. Um, a couple more and then I'm all done here. Uh, white tea and cactus is next. And it is a clean, crisp, and refreshing floral mix with green notes. And this one's really, really nice because it is um, so fresh and clean. It, it really is good in any area of your house or office. Um, I get the almost like some aloe kind of going in there. That would be the cactus part. Um, and the hints of that, the white tea. So, so, so refreshing. Okay, one more scent, and then I want to talk to you about a couple other things. And the last one is wild black cherry, a sweet and juicy black cherry, like an old fashioned black cherry soda. And it is, it is so in your face black cherry. It reminds me of those cherry cough drops, uh, the Luden's cherry cough drops. Um, it's such a deep cherry scent for you. So if you like dark cherry scents, you're going to really, really like this one. Um, there were two more scents, Oodles of Orange and Candy Crave. Those two sold out already, but you can add these to a Scentsy Club subscription that you can set up and Scentsy will still continue to make these two bars for you and ship it to you on a regular basis. Um, and in fact, any of the Bring Back My Bars, you can add to a Scentsy Club subscription and Scentsy will make it for you. So what you do is you go to my website, you click Scentsy Club, and then follow the prompts. It'll tell you how to fill it out. And you can choose to have these bars or any of the other products you choose to ship once every month, once every two months, or once every three months. Um, and scent, like I said, Scentsy will continue to make these scents for you. So it's a way to keep your favorite fragrances with you even once they have been discontinued. Um, but any of the scents that I smelled, you can still order. They're still available to purchase up through the end of this month. So please, have an amazing time with these scents. Let me know if I can answer any questions and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.